Microorganisms such as viruses and bacteria are everywhere. They spread through door handles and other surfaces that many people touch in hospitals. They can cause severe infections and even deaths. Children are particularly susceptible to infections. To protect their little patients, the Niederberg Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine Clinic has installed antibacterial copper alloy handles. Dr. Erdmut Schubert explains why the clinic chose these copper handles. The scientific research on bacterial reduction or decrease in bacterial contamination through these copper handles is compelling. Hospital hygiene is a complex and incredibly important field. And if we can incorporate a building block this way that improves hygiene and the safety of patients, it's the right choice, of course. The acute results of copper surfaces compared to stainless steel or aluminium when it comes to decreasing bacterial loads on surfaces is so compelling that it is essential and desirable to incorporate this element into hospital hygiene. It is not an alternative to disinfection by any means, but an additional component, and disinfection remains the pinnacle of hospital hygiene. However, you can additionally protect those surfaces touched most frequently and most often contaminated, namely door handles, with the special material properties of the metal, that being the copper content. Resistance development should not be expected, since these are mechanisms that are not controlled by bacterial enzyme systems, and the bacterial enzyme systems are the ones who impart resistances. How are the copper handles made? And why do they have an antimicrobial effect? The Wilhelm May company in Velbert has specialized in manufacturing these antimicrobial door hardware products. Managing director Manuel Kollenberg explains the production of copper alloys. Also, the production of our our door handle production begins at the foundry. The block material is melted at a pouring temperature of about 990 degrees Celsius and is then cast in liquid form with the ladle into a so-called die cast or coquille. In this case we see the aluminium casting at a temperature of 780 degrees. Apart from that, the copper casting process is exactly the same. The most elaborate part of the handle production is the grinding process. The coarse irregularities from the casting process are smoothed out with a very rough belt. Through several steps, things get finer and finer until we end up with a surface that is acceptable. And then things move on to the glass bead blasting. The final surface is being created here. The fine glass beads create a non-slip and resistant surface. The copper has antibacterial properties and kills germs. The cell membrane is broken open and the cytoplasm runs out. Thanks to the emergent liquid, Copper ions are being released, which permeate the cell and thereby destroy it for good. As soon as copper material appears in the medical field, that is to say in medical equipment for example, it has to be registered and approved as a medical device. Hospital infections are not just posing a risk for patients. They also burden the health care system with high costs for follow-up treatments. This is why we need to continuously work on infection prevention. Antibacterial copper alloys can be a key advancement in the fight against dangerous and resistant germs if they are being used comprehensively. It is extremely difficult to permanently keep door handles clean throughout the day. We can wipe down bedside tables without any problems, but to keep disinfecting door handles throughout the day with all the many contacts is almost impossible. And that is why this makes sense with door handles. From our point of view, 
The use of copper handles, light switches and handrails is only the beginning. I could well envision installing side handrails and handles made of copper wherever there are many people. In public toilets, in buses and trains and wherever there is a subsequent risk of infection. Aus Kupferwerkstoffen ähm, herstellen.